Hey guys, how are you all? My name is Arshu Devedi friends and I welcome you back to my video. So in this video friends, I will be talking to you regarding this process of bioremediation or I should say the natural process of bioremediation. Now in the last few videos of environment and ecology friends, I have told you, you know, the treatment of the contaminated sites, the treatment of waste sites. So basically this bioremediation is one way of treating the waste. In the previous video friends, I have talked to you about composting. Now basically this composting is a type of bioremediation so basically bioremediation is a very broad definition now let us have a look according to wikipedia bioremediation is a waste management techniques that involves organisms to remove and neutralize pollutants from a contaminated site that is naturally occurring organisms are used to remove the pollutants from that contaminated site similarly there is a definition according to environmental protection agency this definition says that this is basically a treatment that uses naturally occurring organisms to break down hazardous substances into less toxic substances or non-toxic substances. So this is what is bioremediation. Use of naturally occurring organism is there so that hazardous substances can be break down into less toxic or non-toxic substances. Let me give you an example friends. Many a times, you know, humans, they face a lot of wounds wounds are there on humans on animals so basically these wounds can be due to some you can say uh, due to some injury or due to some infection so many a times these maggots are used to heal those wounds so this maggots wound healing this maggots the photos were a bit disturbing so i didn't upload it here if you want to see it just type maggots wound healing on google and you will find the photos so this infectious site a lot of maggots are being released at that site and those maggots naturally treat that bound, naturally treat that infection by eating up that infection by breaking down those infections. So basically this is a type of bioremediation, this maggot wound healing. So what happens friends that in this process of bioremediation, the fungi, the bacteria or the microorganisms that are naturally occurring at that place, what we do that we increase their activity, we accelerate their breakdown activity and when we accelerate their activity, the process of decomposing that infection, the process of decomposing that waste site increases. And many times it also happens that we can introduce outside organisms to break down the same thing. Okay, for example, see here, if biological activity needed to degrade a particular contaminant is not present at the site, Suitable microbes from other locations called exogenous microorganisms can be introduced and nurtured. So, for example, if at a contaminated site, naturally occurring microorganisms are not there, exogenous microorganisms can be introduced at that site to fasten this process of degradation of the wound. Got it, friends? So, this is the whole thing. Okay. Now, what happens in this thing? First of all, in bioremediation, there is no use of chemicals. Chemicals are not used. Now, there is a lot of advantage of these things, friends. There are several advantages of bioremediation process. What is happening? That is biologically based remediation detoxifies hazardous substances instead of merely transferring contaminants from one environmental medium to another or from one form to another. What happens, friends, that if you are adding some, suppose this is a waste site, or this is some contamination and in this contamination some chemical component is added to treat it and a final component is formed so basically this chemical component will reduce this waste but the final waste product that will be produced will be also be toxic because you have put in a chemical compound to solve this thing in bioremediation we are not using any chemical compound we are using naturally occurring microorganisms so these naturally occurring microorganisms will naturally degrade will naturally purify that particular site and the end product will not be toxic the end product will be useful got it so this is one good thing also friends when we are going to use chemicals in solving one thing ultimately those chemicals will find their way into the water supply they will find their way into the sewage supply they will find their way into the ponds into lakes into rivers into ocean some way or other another they are going to find their way to the water supply so it would be it is important that we reduce our consumption of chemical you know chemical purifiers we need to use naturally occurring purifiers so basically in bioremediation we are using naturally occurring purifiers and this bioremediation 
is less disruptive to the environment okay also friends one good uh, or you can say one advantage of using this bioremediation is process is that when the cost of treating through bioremediation is way less is considerably lower than the cost which is involved in conventional treatment got it one more thing also there are different types of bioremediation techniques a lot of different types of bioremediation techniques are there if i talk about them one is phytoremediation then after that one is bioventing one is bio leaching one is land farming then one is bio reactor one is composting i already talked to you regarding composting the composting link is there in my environment ecology playlist i i will remember i will give in the description box also one is bio augmentation and one is rhizo filtration and one is bio stimulation so basically these are different types of the broad categories of bio remediation composting i have already discussed the rest of them i will be discussing in my subsequent videos i will update the links in the description box below friends so basically these are different types of techniques which are involved in this process of bio remediation in some processes the activity of the indigenous microbes will be accelerated and you know it will be in some in some processes plants will be used so there are different techniques involved in order to process in order to fasten this process of bio remediation also you need to keep one thing in mind friends that this bio remediation cannot be used to treat very heavy metals for example heavy metals like cadmium and lead they cannot be treated at this at this point of time through bio remediation however techniques are under research purposes in order to enable the microorganisms to treat the waste pollution through this cadmium lead also but for the time being this technique is not available now there are two types of bio remediation technique one is in situ bio remediation one is ex situ bio remediation what is happening in an ex situ bio remediation technique this is happening away from the site what is happening basically physical removal of the contaminants is taking place the contaminated material is being physically removed through logistics it is being taken to a separate place and there it is getting treated examples of this is compost pile bio reactors bio pile soil treatment units stu what is happening in an in situ technique in an in situ technique the treatment of the waste by waste material is taking place at the place where that waste has been there okay so very certain and very limited types of soil can be treated through this in situ techniques and when i am going to discuss these techniques like uh, you know phytoremediation bio venting bio leaching bio reactor land farming composting rhizo filtration there i will be discussing that which of these techniques are in situ and which of these techniques are ex situ what it friends so this is the whole process of bio remediation friends i hope this video was helpful for you see the complete details about this bio remediation will be clear to you when i will be taking up the separate processes which are covered in under different you know under these headings the broad definition of bio remediation under this are separate process are there and those separate process will be uploaded by me very soon the link is given in the description box below so thank you for watching this video friends you can if you like this video kindly like it you can subscribe to me on youtube you can also follow me in you know instagram please share this videos on your social media profile friends so that i can manage some views and subscribers so thank you for watching friends have a great day goodbye